I remember as I was leaving, the guys like pulled me aside and they're like, yo, so what do you think of the tournament? When I tell you, I've never had to restrain myself more than that one moment and and sit and like to not just cuss the shit out of them for what I had to endure that day. I haven't told this story in a long time. I haven't told this story in a long time and I don't, I don't, I actually don't think people will. There's been a lot of new people around. It's been probably over a year since I told this story, but this is, I'm going to tell the story of literally the worst tournament of my life. And for those of you who've been around for a while, you're going to know this story. You're going to know this story, but for the, for the, for the new ones, for the new kids, New, for the new kids on the block, you guys, you guys are gonna find this one quite interesting. So, this was over maybe two years ago now. I think this might have been. It was yeah, it's close to two years now ago. It was 2018. I was still I was still in uni, so I was I was in Coventry, and the tournament was in Birmingham. There wasn't so there was this tournament advertiser. Someone put it in in a group chat that I was in uh, for just Midlands Tekken players because I was in the Midlands at the time because I was in uni, and it was for this tournament happening in Birmingham, and it was 150, 150, I was going to say 150,000, 150 pounds goes to the winner, like winner takes all, right? And these guys are called like KO Gaming or some shit like that, right? Never heard of the guys organising it, but I was like, you know what? It's a tournament in Birmingham. It could be relatively free. You know, I'm from London. London's the best Tekken scene. Like, I should, I should have no problem, whatever. Like, there's a few good players in Birmingham, like Dante, um, blah blah blah. But I was like, you know, I should, I should do all right at this tournament. You know, big man. Um, so it was advertised like start, like start at twelve or something. So I like get there around half eleven, and I meet, I meet the guys. And when I got there, yeah. Now this is going to make sense if you're black, but there's just like a certain type of black man that you just see and you just know, I this person is just unserious about life. Like they are, they are not someone you should be trusting to host your events. They are not, like you could just see. I could see as I walked in, um, and there was like three or four of them, and I was like, oh boy, this is going to be a thing. Um, so I get there for some reason they like dap me up I'm like yo what's up you know so glad you can make it is that like, we don't not sign to let us like come I got time to get something to eat I'm like yeah cool I said like they yeah cool so I go get something to eat and I come back people are starting to file in and for some reason they were like so there were like there was like one big setup inside right so on a on a on a projector a big setup inside a few like setups up on the stairs and shit and a few like outside it was like a bar so one thing I forgot to mention is that one big setup on the projector was the only tournament setup. And the more I get into the story, you're going to understand why that was a huge piss take. Um, I'm like, cool, whatever. Let me get warming up. Uh, this was actually the tournament. I actually met Eddie. Um, you know, he was he was like an, just an online legend before, before at this point. Never met him before in my life. Didn't even know he came offline. I'm going to restart my games. I'm not getting games. And yeah, so like those those just random. That was just being everyone in casual was like, who is this? It was Eddie. Um, then at like 1 p.m., they were supposed to start Mortal Kombat XL. So there were three tournaments from the day: Mortal Kombat XL, Dragon Ball Fighters, and Tekken. And they were like at like one, they were supposed to start Mortal Kombat XL. And was sitting around like, because we're just sitting for a bit. Like from what I saw, they had the game up. Um. And like people were just like messing around, I was like yo, you know why haven't they started? Like what's going on? So at one point, one of the guys who's organised the event like walked past me, and I was like yo, like why haven't they started the game yet? He turns to me and he says, oh, you see we have, we actually don't have the game. We actually got Mortal Kombat X instead of Mortal Kombat XL, and obviously you know certain characters are different. You know buffs and nerfs, and it's not the most recent version of the game. You get me? And I was like, wait a second, you're doing a tournament and you haven't got the proper game. You haven't, you haven't got the game, the game that you need to participate and 
do the tournament you haven't you haven't got that on you no you you don't have that I mean, he's like, yeah, you know, you just you, whatever. Like, it'll be like 20 minutes, 20 minutes, 20 minutes. An hour goes by and then someone finally walks in. He's like, oh, we, we got it. Got more combat cells. So like, calm. They can start the game. They can do they can do their thing, right? Plop, plop the disc in. And then we're seeing update file. Two hours. And I'm sitting here like, wait a second. <laughs> okay. Let's hold the phone real quick. Update two hours. Because obviously they just got the game so they need every single update to be done to be up to date and i was like so me being me yeah i'm a i am had the genius idea right there weren't that many people for Mortal Kombat xl there was a bit more for dragon ball fighters but there were the most people around for tekken 7. so i was like okay why don't you just start tekken now or start dragon ball fighters now while that update's going by the time the tournaments are finished bish bash what bob's your uncle and they were like no we don't actually want to do that because we have the most signups for tekken so we want everyone oh it's the fraud uh he's like we want everyone to stay until the end you get me and i was like wait but like that's just not fair on us like how is that fair on us i have a what well, i forgot to mention i had a coach to catch at like half nine the tournament was scheduled to finish at nine and i was like, like how is this fair on us so they finished the update file where to sit there and wait. Then they played Mortal Kombat XL. That was done. Dragon Ball Fighters basically went off without a hitch. But. Um, because Dragon Ball Fighters is just a long game in general. It took a while. Um, and then by the time they're supposed to start Tekken. It's like half eight. Bearing in mind. My coach is in an hour. They have the venue. They only had the venue until nine. So there's basically it's half an hour to do a tournament is is the undertaking that that basically they have they have forced upon themselves, right? So I turn and I'm like, OK, how are they going to do? There's like at least like 20 people here. There's no way you can do a full tournament much less some form of mock tournament in like half an hour so what they do is they they hop on the mic that yo everyone so basically what's happening now is due to time constraints which is no one's fault really it's not really anyone's fault you know they're just time constraints and i was like oh my days uh due to time constraints uh tekken is going to be first to one single elimination and obviously at this point i just completely mentally checked out um you're telling me i have three rounds if i lose those i am completely out of the tournament it is game over it is ggs there is nothing left for me to do okay yeah so first to one single elimination i was like oh that's that sounds like a fun concept um and you know it was bad because basically so Eddie, for those of you who know, he's kind of he's like one of the best players in the UK, to be honest. Um, does very well. <laughs> oh, this guy just mashes the fuck. Lol. I'm not gonna rematch him for obvious reasons, chat, because even if I do get promo, he's just gonna plug. Um So yeah. Eddie, his first game was just some Rago Bob who only did hell sweep or crouch dash two um that's actually all he did and because you're literally just dashing it basically it's like if i just dashed in and i either did that or i did that sorry or i did that right you just have to guess every single time he's coming in he didn't give him a time to think and then <laughs> and then he lost to some random guy who just literally did those two moves i'm i'm not even joking when i say it was only those two moves he lost he's out of the tournament gg goes home later than he was expecting to blah 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 um i lost to i lost to some good feng players so i was like i'm i'm gonna take that you know i didn't get screwed by some first one nonsense but i remember as i was leaving the guys like pulled me aside and they're like yo so what do you think of the tournament when i tell you I've never had to restrain myself more 
than that one moment and and sit and like to not just cuss the shit out of them for what i had to endure that day because i forgot to mention as well it was very cold this day and the only selves to practice were outside for some reason even though there were selves there were selves inside upstairs for tekken 5 for some reason if you want to play tekken 5 inside sure but outside where it was cold that was the only place uh, if you wanted to actually like this is oh wait, i played this guy before the connection is not good um the same fucking place right so i had to i held i held everything back in my system to just not cast the shell of them i was like yeah it wasn't too bad you know you know just uh, did i didn't right time you know just a bit upset with the way things went yeah they were like yeah sorry about that yeah so so just say how about we like it was no one's fault really just you know just just how these things that these things go you know he was like but don't worry you know we're planning we're planning another tournament next month yeah and you know we're gonna give we're gonna give you half price entry to the next one you half price i was like oh yeah safe 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 never heard from those guys again i was like yeah safe safe cool 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 they they tried messaging me on facebook <laughs> they, they tried to do whatever i just i never went back I don't know if these guys are still doing events. I hope to God they're not. But it was just like... It was a shambles. It was beyond a shambles. How's it going, Bruce? Tekken 5 is a top tier game. If I'm trying to warm up for Tekken 7, I want to be actually warm while I do it. And not have to worry about being outside. <laughs> They, they still do events, Joker. No, they don't. No, I refuse to believe they still do events. I refuse to believe they're allowed to do events. Surely the police must have shut them down by now. <laughs> Surely the police going for. Oh, like, we have to stop this. There's no way. But yeah, that was the worst. Like, I've been to some bad tournaments in my life. Um, nothing will ever compare to... Oh, time for first one, single elimination. I think at one point, I actually picked Noctis in one match. Because I was like, you know what? This is, this is when they... This is when down back... Uh, down back two and down back one plus two was still really annoying to deal with so um i picked noctis for one game and i was like fuck it down back two down back one plus two down back two down back one plus two 